It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah, we have a new limited edition bottle in front of us. What do we have? We have Old Tub. Old Tub. Old Tub. Bottled Old tub. and bond. Unfiltered. Not charcoal filtered or chill filtered. Only quality screen to remove bits of the barrel. We're That's just, what I heard. We're just memorizing the back of the bottle now. That's what it says on the back. But hey, hey, you old tub. Who, who, that, what a terrible nickname. I don't know if that's anyone's <laughs> right? nickname. If anyone ever referred to me as old tub, I think I would just break down in tears. It's like old chap, but... Well. But it's got a negative... Hello, hello, old tub. No, I don't think it's really anyone's nickname. <laughs> um, but this is one of the earliest... Um, expressions from from beam from the beam distillery yeah back before even the civil war was going on they had old tub it died off due to uh, unpopularity um and i think now it's back due to popularity <laughs> due to popularity yeah uh i think probably about five years ago beam brought it back as a distillery only it was in a little right. 375. Little. i remember because we went to beam and we bought mm -hmm. some of those yeah, we were we like what's that. this yes yeah. But now it's back as a, a limited edition, as you said, and the MSRP is supposed to be around $22. We got it for 20 bucks. Nice, 20, 20 bucks, bottled and bond. Bucks, bottled and bond. Beam. Yeah, no Say age, other things. no age statement, but you know, with that bottled and bond, it has to be at least four years. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it tastes, but mash I'm imagining bill. it's probably hanging around there. The original mash bill, I don't know. But Jim we don't Beam know what that doesn't is. really, don't really release those. Pause for cork pop. Yeah. Okay. At least it is a cork, not a it's fine. screw top. Well, it's one of those uh, synthetic. Synthetic, but it's like I don't mind that. Cork. I don't mind that. What is it? Less chance of cork rot. That's right? true. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. The third or fourth glug, I was like, and we're done. <laughs> Old tub. I feel like that should be a song. Well, gather around, children. We're gonna spin the yarn of old tub, old tub, and someone in the background is singing, or you know, doing that whoo, 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 on the jug. Mm -hmm. Playing a little. Oh, I'm with you. Old tub. I'm with you. Okay. That's beam. It is beam. It's very sweet on the nose. It, a lot of yeah, corn. A little, yeah. A little spice in yeah. there. Yeah. Little, yeah, a little spice. Little um, smells familiar. I mean, it is recognizably beam, but it almost smells like. Maybe an expression we've had before. Maybe. I feel like we've met before. Yeah, have we met before? Ooh, uh, I got in there a little too far. From the nose. Sometimes that happens. Uh, from the nose, if I had to guess, I would say like 90 to 100. I, it's not really reading. I'm reading 100. Yeah. Yeah. But let's go for the taste. Oh, okay. A nice good bit of char. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of that nuttiness that we know from Jim Beam. Still a little bit of that sweetness, but it, it kind of really blends into that. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a very consistent heat. Mm -hmm. Like it's not just like a, sometimes you get like this sort of- Like a heat wave? <laughs> a heat wave, there you go. Like this pop of heat in the middle and it goes away. This one was just kind of like a nice consistent mm -hmm. um, roll across the tongue. Mm hmm yes. It's got a nice little hug at the end. Ooh, hey, yeah. Yeah. Boop. I'll have to go back on a second sip. Um, I think it's about as hmm, polished as you would expect for a $20, hmm. $22 okay. pour. I am liking Bottle, the, whatever. the finish. Yeah, for me, it's still going. Sarah is always on that second sip before me. I love it. Well, I just figure instead of sitting here like a month on a log while you're forming your thoughts, I'll just work to the next one. That's what editing's for. I'll work ahead. No, it's, it's a decently medium to long-ish finish yeah i'd call it medium settles into the, the chest area pretty nicely and has a nice little barrel type of finish for tw uh, for 20 bucks i ain't mad at it you know what i think it might be reminding me of what bakers because it's not far off from like that a little baby bakers yeah it's not far off from that 107 i'm getting more of like a baker's vibe than i am a jim beam bonded mm. vibe no i think i agree with you i don't know that I would 100% say, like, I don't think I would have thought of Baker's on my own, but I do feel that hmm. I wouldn't have put this in like the Jim Beam label camp. Mm -hmm. There is, I think, quite a difference between this at 100 and Baker's at 107. Uh, well, yeah, Baker's brings the heat. Ba right. Baker's has a little man complex it's and very, it's trying to be Booker's. You it's know? also very rich too, mm -hmm. where this has stuff going on that it's great, but it's not as rich. It's got this- And desserty. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this 
unidentifiable fruitiness. I think that's a lot of the sweetness. I, I guess think. it must just kind of be. It's almost like a peachy syrup. Yeah, 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 peachy. It's uh, for a second I was thinking like, is is there, is there a banana in my beam? You know, but I don't think it's that. I think yeah, it's more of a peachy syrup. Syrup. Like, like from the can. From the can, it was put there by a man. You knew I was going there. I before I, I was like in a factory downtown. How many of our videos has this appeared in? <laughs> Trivia, because <laughs> I don't even know. At least two. <laughs> I know that. At much. least two. Yeah. No, yes, you hit it. Or like a peach schnapps. Um, yeah. I'm remembering back to my, you know, right out of college days. Can never say that I've ever purchased a bottle of peach schnapps. Well, I used to kind of play bartender for the friends, and it was always, of course, those girly <laughs> I just drinks. pictured in my mind Chad thinking he's Tom Cruise in cocktail, and that's exactly <laughs> what I pictured. Like, I bet you tried some flair. <laughs> I know he did it. I know it. Well, it was always those sweet things like the trying to do what the ladies sex wanted. on the beach or the panty dropper or the, you know, I would just, in fact, I had a book, a uh, cocktail book of like the dirtiest named cocktails. It was college and right out of college. Come did, on. But did it work for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, and how did this go? The drinks were too sweet and then they just got a headache. And, oh, you know, no. oh, come on, forget about it. Um, <laughs> but enough about that. No, it reminds me of the like the the peach schnapps that I would put in those awful awful cocktails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got that sweetness and that quasi fruitiness. As I'm going back to this, I feel like it's changing up a little bit actually as it's open for more time because I got more of a wood note and an oak note just now when I went back and I was thinking about the peach more. And so I actually think it might be good to just give this a second. Um, That's a great idea. And take a idea. few minutes. Yeah. That's a great idea. Let's give this ten minutes. And while we wait, we want to tell you guys about our home on the internet. Perfect segue. It's called Whiskey Ambitions. It's our home on the internet for things such as, hey, both of us are wearing a t-shirt. Uh, glassware such as this water glass, our Glencairns, our That's, rocks glasses. It's spill free when it's not me. Okay. Challenge coins and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash suburbanite and join our community and conversation. It's as little as $1 a month. We do, after the episode, patron-only, you know, exclusives. Uh, we do patron-only podcasts. We'll put something out there for a poll, get your opinion, and more. Boom. All right, we're going to let it sit here. We'll be back. See you in about 10 minutes. And we're back. We're back. Okay. It's sat here for about 10 minutes. I just would like to know your opinion on that nose now. Right? <laughs> baby bookers. Little baby booker. <laughs> It is like a Whoa. little baby bookers. It has become the nuttiness that is associated with bookers. Right. All that, a lot of that sweetness that was there at first has really subsided in the, the you know, a little bit more richer tones. Yeah. Make way for more richer tones. Well, you know, since we just did the cut down experiment, here's a new thing. Let's c grab a bookers. Cut, cut it, it down to, to 100 and compare these. <laughs> Is it Old Tub or Baker's, you know, or Knob yeah, Creek? Yeah. And see mm. if those things are, if that's a thing. Wow. We'll see. Okay. I really think this benefits from spending a few minutes in the glass. Absolutely. It keeps moving further away from the notion of Jim Beam like line and more to, I say this is more tasting now like a baby Booker's. Mm -hmm. Baker's is out of my head. Right. Knob Creek isn't even entering and this is well, you know how Knob Creek and, and Booker's taste different they're just you know right it's just a different different barrel entry proofs and they're in the same family that. but they're different they all have their own different expressions you know this is definitely more Booker's yeah I think so I would say if you're a fan of Booker's especially if you're one of those people who are like oh they raised the price again I mean um, you're not gonna get the proof here but... you're not gonna get the proof but if you want that profile 30 points less roughly roughly here you go with old tub. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that again, I need more time with this, like first impressions though. I think that this would be one of my now like under 25 go to's. Like, you know, I think that you really get a great value with Wild Turkey 101. I would put this right there too. The flavor that you're getting for the price and the quality. I mean, you're getting a bottle to bond, you know? Yeah. I think that this is. I would not. And and a non-chill filter. Correct. I think. I'm I, not going to say this is a new Heaven Hill bottled and bond. Um, <laughs> oh, great. I'm not going to say that because it's I don't, new, haven't spent enough time with it. It's the new Henry McKenna. But it's less than Now many. you can't find it on shelves. No. Um, I'm not. I think that you should try this is all I'm going to say. 
I think you should give it a shot. Absolutely. If, if this were a first date, this would be like I want a second. wanting to, you know, like how long do I have to wait before I text or call? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to scare him off, but man, I really want that second date. Zoe agrees. So recommend or not, I think we've already answered that question, but so. ceremony right here. Boom. Thumbs. Boom. Thumb, thumbs up. Yeah. Price, flavor profile, the, the bottled and bond, which is the most heavily reg regulated section of bourbon, mm -hmm. the non-chill filtered. I, mm -hmm. I think I remember someone uh, posting a comment recently that said, can someone name me a non-chill filtered bourbon under $25? Well, here's one. There might be some others, I don't know, but without thinking about it, <laughs> here is definitely one. Hit of the summer? Is this like the jam of Maybe. the summer? Maybe, it might be. I think, you know, Obviously, in some ways, I do wish it had a little more polish to it, like I, I said earlier. It's got a, a few rough edges. Mm -hmm. Again, to be expected at 20 to $22, right? It's not, if you want a Booker's, oh. you should buy a Booker's. You know what also just popped in my mind? What? OGD 114. You know what remind? This is sort of an old granddad. But you know what, like in the likes of the Ooh. early times bottled and bond, yeah. Heaven Hill bottled and bond, mm -hmm. um, Nevin Williams. Wild Turkey 101. You know, just like things in that category that everyone's like, oh, that, we know it, that that's a, a good quality, dependable at a great price. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is going to fall into that yeah. category. Old Tub. Old Tub. <laughs> the Legend of Old Tub is here. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh. Yeah. Someone's going to be like, I want that to be my ringtone. Oh, tub. Old I would, tub. I would love it. Please do. Oh, gosh. Woo, okay. Well, uh, definite recommend for us, and, and that's where we'll uh, leave it. If you hadn't subscribed to us already and would like to do so, we'd love to have you. You can click right up here to do that, or there's suggestions of other videos. We hope to see you over there in those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Until next time, drink more bourbon.